Hi everyone, this is Radio Man Gaming and I'm Radio Man. With the new metabolism changes in version 0.6, it has become very important to have properly cooked meat. You are going to want to avoid the nausea effect you get from eating the meat raw so you don't vomit your protein away. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily cook a meal for your team to make sure you are in tip-top shape at all times. I'll be using the improvised barbecue to cook today with a campfire placed underneath. You can cook by placing your meat on the ground next to any size fire, but the grill makes it so much easier to manage everything. You can build it by opening your crafting menu, scrolling down to the blueprints tab and clicking the icon in the no skill section. You need 8 sticks, 2 pieces of scrap metal, 4 drink cans or coffee cups, and a cutting tool to complete the construction. The campfire can be placed directly underneath. Try to center it as well as you can. It will help if you go into first person for this. The fire needs to be at burning stage 4 out of 10 to get the meat hot. You can see the stage by mousing over the fire. The lower the number, the hotter the fire. I have some pre-cut wood ready to go and you can get it to stage 4 by fueling the fire with a plank and two long sticks. There we go, burning stage 4 out of 10. Now, before you light your fire, you want to get your steaks cut up. Let me go grab some wolf meat we've been holding on to. You can see that it is pretty low quality right now, because it has been sitting for a few days, but that's okay. When you chop it up, it will give you 100% quality steaks, so always store your meat in bulk form. It will last a lot longer this way when you cut it up as you need it. I like to use my trusty Bushman knife. I just put it in my hand, hold F over the meat chunk, and chop. And there we go. It's a 19% quality torso and we get 100% steaks. Okay, let's get these picked up and then we'll chop that leg. We should get one more steak out of it. Now that you have your meat prepared, take your matches or fire drill, which you can craft with two sticks and a knife, and then go ahead and light the fire. I then go into first person so I can see better and begin laying the meat on the grill, centering it over the fire as well as I can. Hold F over your meat and use check taste to show the temperature and status of the food in the bottom left corner of your screen. You want it to stay hot at all times. If the fire is too cool, the meat will stay warm and progress will not be made. Keep checking the burning stage of your fire and keep it in stage 4. If your meat starts cooling off or the fire changes to stage 5, add another long stick. Listen for audio cues as well. When the meat is cooking, it should make this nice bubbling sound. However, I feel like this might be bugged at the moment, as the sounds do not always seem synchronized with the cooking stage. The changing of the cooking stage might also be bugged, as it sometimes seems to lag behind itself, going from hot raw to hot overcooked, and then burnt in an instant. Through some trials, I've noticed that shuffling around the stakes will make the cooking status update. I don't know if this is just fixing the bug, or is an intended feature, as you do need to flip meat around while barbecuing in real life. Either way, you will see me flip these steaks around several times. Now we just wait while keeping an eye on the meat. 
Steaks aren't the only way to cook the meat, however. You can make small and large skewers of meat, each with three or five pieces, respectively. To cook these, you follow the same principle. Just place the skewer next to the fire and move it closer while checking to find the perfect temperature range. Keep a close eye on the status as they cook faster than the plain steaks. I can't stress enough to keep checking the food. As you see here, this piece of fat is already cooling off. A quick look at the fire tells me it's still in stage 4, so I shuffle around the food to find the heat. However, they are all starting to cool off, so the food says it's time to add wood. Throw in a large stick, check again, and it's back to hot. Just a quick flip of these steaks, check taste, and hot. Okay, let's take a quick look at these from the side. All right, it looks like I can move these a bit more to the center. There, that looks a little better. Now, other than cooking steaks and skewers, you can unlock more advanced recipes with higher survival skill, like the stew for instance. A lot of these require the use of a cooking pot, but it's cooked in the same way. Just place the crafted ingredient pot on the grill, you find the temperature range to keep it hot, and then keep checking the status. When you're consuming these, be sure to uncraft while there is one use left to get your pot back, as these aren't always the easiest to come by. While we wait, Let's take a moment to admire the new metabolism screen some more. What a beauty. Also take note that after being alive for 5 in-game days, my stats are already increasing. This is just by casually playing, and no grinding. I'm sure you can get these up way faster though, if you focused yourself. Okay, let's check these steaks again and give them a flip. Don't forget to keep checking the fire. Remember, you want to keep it burning stage 4. You can see that it does take some time to finish cooking. And now with the new update, it is a necessary evil. However, I enjoy the process myself, as it gives you a moment to relax within the comfort of your walls. I also like how it shifts the focus of the game itself more towards the survival aspect, and you can't just stuff rotten, raw food down your throat to get back to the raiding faster. Okay, here we go. Now we are starting to see slightly cooked, under the status of most of this meat except a couple pieces that cooled to warm earlier. Now is the time to be vigilant with your checking, if you haven't already. It will not be long and this meat will be done, and because of the somewhat buggy nature of this whole process right now, you don't want to burn everything away. I'm going to keep flipping them too, as it does seem to help.
you see that? Is it just me, or do these not seem to be changing color as I flip them? Yeah, yeah. All right. Hot cook. Let's get these off the grill. I guess the ones that cooled will need to stay a little longer. All right, let's center these last few pieces here. Oh no, they're cooling down. Let's toss on another stick. There's that noticeable sound change, letting you know the meat is now cooking again. Okay, there's another sound change right on the steak flip. Yeah, let's get this picked up and we are done cooking. There you go, that took what? All of 10 minutes? Still, always give respect to the guys taking the time to cook for you. And remember, not to mess with someone who handles your food, or else... <laughs> I'm marinating the steaks. <laughs> Alright, all that's left to do now is set the table with some cold ones. Maybe some wine and whiskey for the more refined palate. We also have some corn and mushrooms to balance it all out. And that's going to be about it for this one. I hope you were able to learn something about cooking in scum, and I hope you enjoyed watching. I know I enjoyed showing you guys. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. Help me out by hitting that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it, from the bottom of my heart. Check out my other scum videos, and stay tuned for more. I hope you all have a great evening. This is Radio Man. Signing off. What the hell? Oh, you bastard. Die. No stakes for you. Radio Man!